Hello guys, welcome back to our new episode of Urban Design on City Skylines in our beautiful night-lit city of Verrucchio. Um, now this is the Urban Design series and we are going to continue where we left off from last episode and that was pretty much urban designing a very fancy uh, new bridge into our city. And as you can see, it's right here in our forefront. We've stacked the highways on top of each other and um, it's operating and the beautifully and the actual bridges are uh, all lit up very nicely as well. Now the lighting was done by me as well. Um, the original bridge was made by VIP and um, has been updated with any lighting of any sort so any of any sort so I I actually went ahead and did all that myself. Uh, it wasn't too easy as the mod wasn't really easy to work with, but I mean the asset wasn't really what to work with. Um, so this episode, um, we're going to actually start working on our next suburb, and uh, this is because we have a little bit of demand for more residents. And I have a full page from top to bottom uh, with suggestions for more suburbs so thank you guys for that um i guess you can we can hold off for the suggestions now i mean unless you got really some that you really really want to get out there then by all means please do keep commenting um uh, but as i said i've got a whole page of um suggestions of potential suburb names that i have to include into the city so we're going to start by expanding into the neighborhoods and um I'm keeping everything uh, low density because uh, what I'd like to do is first stretch out the metropolitan area with all this low density and then once after all the low densities has been um, developed what I want to do is just organically kind of try and grow a bit of low uh, sorry a bit of high density into the city um, here and there in little spots and also work it with higher density areas uh, closer to where our central city will actually be so I guess I can we can get straight into it then, eh? Um, so, first things first, I've got an idea of where I want to expand into our next area, and that's going to be over here, uh, right over here, so between this highway and expand from Elwood. So, let's go into the construction mode, and so what I'll do is go straight into our avenues, and we're going to extend this road out now why do I not have our uh, guides uh, pillars overlap no zoning there's four zoning ah oh, there we go so let's just do collide just our normal so I'm using this mod I have to remember not to use, necessarily use this mod so much right, so I'm just gonna remove this road just so that I can see how far out we go so we go up by three units over there now I need to find a place where I can actually create an underpass underneath this so I think it will have to be somewhere just around over here so what I'll do is this will be the spot where I go underground sorry underneath to ground level there we go remove that now we're gonna have to remove these segments of highway and rebuild them again so that we can have our little segment of avenue running through it there we go now guys also I haven't gone through exactly every single comment through the last four episodes so I'm still kind of going through that um, as I just released four episodes within one weekend because it was just pretty much all recording on uh, one single Thursday and now it's what is it now it's Monday the following week and this is my second episode that I'm recording after the bridge construction so um, yeah I still have a lot of work and catching up to do with uh, getting back to you all but I definitely will so just bear with me for a little while longer okay so what do we have here four by three I think we can make this a little bit longer so so what's that 14 by 12 so we need to increase this by two clicks so how much is this now that's 24 by 12 so you need to increase this by 12 units and now we should be able to make a beautiful smooth 12 by 12 connection how about from this side there we go even better 
Okay, so this is going to be our next suburb right over here. Oh, is it me or is this highway not lined up properly? No, it is lined up properly. If this goes straight, yeah, that is lined up properly. So I did do that, do that correctly. Okay, so this highway needs to be changed direction though. No, yes, this segment needs to be changed. There we go. Okay, so... First things first, let's add a park. Now, I think I downloaded a couple of parks. They should be here, yes. So I did add a public soccer field, so let's add that straight in. I don't mind a bit of extra sporting facilities to start being implemented. Um, if this actually uh, does not become night, uh, or ready for night, I'm going to actually have to modify this myself and add some night lights to this um, asset. And that's very easily done. You just load the asset in and then what you do is just go into your light settings and you just place your lights wherever you want them. So I'll try and attach them to the actual um, masts, light masts. And hopefully that works. If not, then we'll have to figure out something else. Now, also, guys, I don't know a bit, uh, about this, but um, I'm asking you guys because I get a much uh, larger audience watching these videos on YouTube um, than what I actually have uh, watching on stream when I stream on Twitch. But I'd like to ask if anyone knows is if, that is, if I place a taxi stand where the bus stop station is, does the bus... The, does the taxi stand still function? Because as you can see, it's situated where the bus stop is. So I'm just curious to see if it actually works. If not, let me know, because then if it doesn't, I'm obviously going to have to move it somewhere else. So, because I'm still not too familiar with the way taxis work. Uh, this is the m main concern that I have, because I like to place the taxi stand somewhere close where we get a lot of uh, usage with passengers. So say you're coming out of the metro and where the buses are actually operating. So yeah, just let me know because I'm not too sure about that. Right, so without further talking, I'm actually going to start perhaps... Pause the game for a second here and I'm just going to do a bit of relocation work of these water pipes. So that I can actually have the space around over here to continue expanding our wonderful city. Okay, continue that forward. Alright, so while we're here and we have lots of cash as we kind of saved up during the stream as we were busy doing other things. Uh, we didn't realize how much we actually made. We can now zone this whole area up like that. Um, I'm going to actually have to modify this highway. I'm actually going to have to join it up very, very soon. And while we're here, let's just add the uh, switch lights off over here. We don't need traffic lights. It's just creating too much chaos. Ooh, old people. Oi, 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 oi. Problems with water? We shouldn't be having problems with water. Here, come on. It's all connected, yes. What's the, what seems to be the problem? No, there we go. Everything's connected. There we go. Yeah. Okay, so... Tragedy averted. Alright, so this highway is still functioning. We've got a bit of traffic build-up. Quite a lot of traffic build-up. That's because of this intersection, but we'll clear that up. Um... Because this highway isn't going to be coming up here anyway. So we're going to be making this highway go from here. It's going to be going down all the way over here. And then it's going to jump across over here. And then the, it's going to be able to jump into these neighborhoods. So let's start working on our next neighborhood, eh? Um, so. Let's start zoning this neighborhood up then. Now this is going to be just a general... low density residential again and I actually do have one one suggestion that I really like 
and I'm going and I still have a few suggestions from uh, the Santa Cangelo series that I still have to add so and where was it? I'm gonna uh, name this Ulutia or Ulutia however you want to pronounce that I reckon that looks pretty good okay very unique now did I download any other sports parks or anything like that just every cur curiosity I don't think so I thought I did Maybe it's in here, one of these areas. Uh, no, no, no. What's that? Uh, okay, that's a custom asset. Here we go, I thought I did. Soccer, L6 Small Stadium Club. Okay, so I'll add that here. I wanted to add a bit of a soccer stadium right here. It's nothing too big. No electricity to connect over here, that's fine. We'll eventually connect you. I'll do a temporary connection like this, just to see what you look like in the night. Please hurry up, connect. There we go. Alright, that looks pretty good. I like that. Beautiful. So, yes, there you go. This soccer park doesn't have lights. So I'm going to have to actually modify this. Excuse me. It's spring in Melbourne and I have the case of hay fever. So that will explain all the sneezing. Alright, so instead of talking, let's actually start working on something here in Ulutia or Ulusha. If I could get the correct pronunciation from someone, that would be great. So, um, that street's going to go in this direction. This street's going to go... Is this going to be a T? Yeah, no, it's not going to be a T. It's going to be a full intersection. And it's just got me wondering if I should add another one of these instead. How big is this? Let's see. Will that fit in here? No, obviously not. It's too long. Yeah, it's just too long. But that's okay. Should we keep this smaller soccer field here in the stadium there? Yeah, that's what we're going to do. Okay. I still have a lot more to download. Assets. So, but we'll get to that when we get to that. Let's see. Any more parks that we can add? Perhaps we can add a what? Carousel right over here there we go so over here in this little pocket I'm also going to expand on our shopping I'm also considering to add one of our usual parks yes I will because it will cover this area very nicely so let's just jump into that and put that in like that perfect and we'll start putting in a few residential zones in as well and we're going to have to start considering expanding our industry. So why not clear out some industry from here? There we go. And we can place more industry around over here. And let's see. How are we doing with water connections? Doing not too badly, but we can start expanding to the other side, I think. And out to here. Well, this actually needs to be measured 550. There we go. Out to here. And this gives us the ability to expand a little bit more. Okay, so let's just push this out to there. Back out to here. And then there. And another unit. Which comes out to the here. Okay, there we go. Beautiful. And we can start zoning in a little bit more. Industry like this. Perfect. And hopefully this will fill out all our demands. So that we can get even more requirements for population. You know what? I'll zone all this up like that. Nice and easy. And as soon as that fills up, we can start expanding. Way we need power. 
Uh, no, we don't need power. We just need to reconnect our power lines. And of course, how silly of me. There we go. Power lines are connected. Everything should start switching back on. There we go. All oh, the lights, the whole city will turn back on. Water's back. Okay, so we got a little bit in the red. We didn't realize that, did we? Okay, all good now, though. So, uh, let's see. Expansion time. So first we're going to start focusing on building where our roads are going to be. So this can come out to here. This can come out to here. And this now is going to join up like that. There we go. So we're not too close to the highway. Over here we'll make a bit of a cul-de-sac. There we go. Let's increase the speed a little bit so that we can actually keep this episode a little bit shorter hopefully within an hour and even if it's not completed we'll actually try and get as close as possible to completing this neighborhood okay now this area I'm gonna push this out to here just pause the game for a second let's see if we can reconnect our electrical our electrical line somewhere close by um, now the one thing that I was thinking about is actually doing a little bit of work around over here. Making this join up. To here. And then making this kind of follow the curve of the actual highway. So make that go down. Like that. Okay, and now... Let's see, uh, if I were to push it from here, that's really far away from the actual highway itself. I think that's better. That's a much better length, or distance, I mean, not length. Okay, and join that up beautifully. Perfect. <laughs> now let's see what we can do here. So that's 11 by... Seven, so we need to increase this by four, and now we can join this up to make it. Hmm, that's strange. It is eleven by seven, and yet. So let's do it by three, and now what do we get? Seven by seven. That's really strange. Okay, so that's not correct maths, but okay, doesn't matter. And now, what are we thinking? This is going to be a very small, nice and neat and tidy neighborhood. Very nice. I like this. Keeping things nice and simple. This can come out to here. This can push out to here. Now, this needs to join up 7x7. Seven seven. Whoops. I need the curve tool. 7x7. Seven seven. Perfect. Now, it leaves us this whole little area in between here. And what we can place in here will be... Let's see. First of all, I think I want to empty this building. How many? 230? That's fine. Because I would rather place that over here. Re uh, yeah, re relocate this cemetery from here to... Yeah, excuse me, next to the highway. And now I think one more entry point into this neighborhood would be nice to have as well. And we'll place one right over here. A little bit of a connection like that. And let's see, another bit of a connection over here. Pushes out by that much. This can push out by this much. Now, what does this give us? 4 by 5. So I need to increase this by a little bit more. That's the same. 4 by 5. Come on, Conrad out to that. What does that give me? 4 by 3 too much. 4 by 4 okay perfect. This to there, perfect. Okay now perhaps a bit of a cul-de-sac right here like that. Nice. And a cul-de-sac over here. Oh perfect look at that. That just fits in right there perfectly. Expanding of the population now. There we go. 
let's see, what other parks do we have that we can add? Uh, we have, what can we add? Bouncy Castle Park, something a little bit different. Can add that right over here, I think. That will look nice. Now that we've got rid of the traffic lights over here on this intersection, temporarily of course, um, what we have is no more traffic here. But it's very dangerous, that is. Very dangerous, this intersection. But... We'll fix that later. Okay, and so what I wanted to do was actually to connect a road which joins up like that over here now. And the next thing is we can perhaps add another nice park like this over here. There we go. We can zone all of this up beautifully like that. This over here like this. You know what? Let's just zone it all. Let's just zone it all up. And we can just wait for it to start expanding everywhere. And as we wait, we can start providing services. That seems like a better way and a faster way of getting things done, I reckon. Hopefully, we'll see how things pan out. If I carry that to there, that will still be connected. So that's fine. Yep. Okay, so everything should be zoned out. Perfect. Okay. This can be zoned like that. And actually, no, let's dezone this little area here. What I have in mind is, let's add a park, one of these, uh, can't. Uh, what I'm going to do then is add a street here, which joins up like that. That's fine. Now, let's zone this up. Let's add this park in. And on this side, we'll add a few shops. There we go. That will work very nicely. Let's remove that. Let's add a footpath from here to here. There we go. That's all nice and done. This to here. Uh, that's what I was wanting, was wanting to join. This to here. And let's see. Will this affect any of these? Yeah, a few. That doesn't matter. We'll just do a quick little dezone of that block and that block. That's it. That's fine. Absolutely fine. Alright, so now, now that that's done, we're going to fast... Oh, we're already in fast forward. Okay, so that's good. Let's offer some elementary schooling. Unlike last series, we're actually very much on top of things with uh, our education system. Now, someone suggested to actually add also some parks around to these primary and elementary schools and high schools and all that. Sounds like a very good idea, actually. But I like to zone them also very close to within like uh, areas that kind of cover everything, and then it just it's very difficult to actually s sort of kind of fit things in, especially parks because they're normally five by five, and that just takes away like a lot of good available space away from us. I don't know. We'll see. Perhaps as we continue to grow, we'll be able to start incorporating the schools perhaps a little bit better. And as we grow our population, wow, look at this house. That's very nice and fancy. Look at that. It's a bit brown, true brown for my liking, but what's your name? Child, and what's this? Jeremy Murray, the Orchard Residence. It's nice to actually see them utilizing spaces outside, like they have a little bench at the front of the house. I like that very much so. Right, so let's start utilizing some buses around here. So we've got a metro station right over here. That's what we want to utilize. And in order to utilize that, I'm going to have to create an avenue, which comes out in this direction, and make this road actually come out over here and join up like that. This is all interconnected. That's fine. We don't need these power lines here anymore. There we go. And so 
I was thinking perhaps over here we can add like a bit of a small shopping district. Because essentially this road is here so that I can make a bit of a loop to come back into Elucia with for my buses. And if we are to create a little bit of a commercial strip over here, I'm going to have to, again, once again, move these. I'll place four again. Connect them up, like so. And as soon as they're connected and all powered, all operating, come on, hurry up. There we go, it's all on. Beautiful. I'm going to remove these. Yes, yes, yes. Yes, and remove that. There we go. So we shouldn't have any disturbances with our power. Let's remove all of this residential area from here. And now I'm going to add a park around over here, which cuts across like that. And let's see. Perhaps two footpaths around over here, which can kind of interconnect or something like that or let's see we can actually add no, let's remove that I've got an idea I'm going to go into our parks we're going to go sunken plazas uh, there it is sunken plaza here sunken plaza over here now let's add a footpath from here to here and then from here we can Make a footpath go directly straight across, I think, like that. Yeah, I like that. And on this side we can add some shops. Now I'm hoping that these footpaths will actually be connected to these plaza plazas. Okay, we'll add some shopping around over here, like that. We'll add some trees without the brush tool, please. That was, I think, from the removal of trees earlier. Okay. And then when this area fills up, we'll be able to start filling it the rest out with trees. And now let's start adding our... Wow, this area. Look at that. Alucia has really started. Alutia. Alucia, Alutia. God, I don't know how to pronounce it. Anyway, let's start adding our next bus lane. And this is so small that I think only two bus lanes will be enough. One clockwise and one anti-clockwise. Okay, so... Let's jump into our buses. And first of all, let's add a stop over here, which will end up coming to the metro stop over here. And you're going to stop around over here on this side street. And this is anti-clockwise, I can see already. So first stop around over here. Next stop over here. The next stop is going to be inside the suburb. Yeah, and then the next stop over here. Next stop over here. And then you can stop here. There we go. I like that. So we'll jump into it. We'll have to figure out a color for this. We can do... Perhaps we've got purple here. We'll figure it out. Maybe a really light sky blue. That'll be nice. Alright, so if we go here, there we go, I think that will do, a really light blue, okay, that's fine, so this is from memory going to be now line number 23, we're still going to figure out, Some, someone actually suggested a better way of naming all of these lines, and I still have to read through the comment, I do remember vaguely what you said, um, about naming each line can be just one one two two as long as the ACL or CL clockwise or anti-clockwise so I will do that but first let's just continue this and I'll do that off camera I don't want to do all this stuff on camera so Ulushia line 23 and this is ACL so anti-clockwise obviously and now we'll create our next bus line and this bus line is actually going to go slightly more through this neighborhood so what we're going to do is a stop over here 
I'm gonna make a stop over here. Stop over here, stop over here, stop over here. You can stop around over here, here, and then make a stop around over here. Oh no, then you're just gonna come straight here. And then you're gonna come and finish up there. There we go, that works. So let's go into this color, find something similar. There we go, I think that's the same color, perfect. So this is going to be line number 24. Lucia. Uh, make sure we have a space. And clockwise. Okay. Perfect. So now Lucia essentially is now connected to the metro system. That's what I wanted to do. So this metro line will be even busier now. Hopefully. Let's just have a quick look. Yeah, look at all the people jumping out of that. Perfect. All right. Uh, let's see, Olusha is now pretty much completed. We still have quite a lot of demand for residential. But no, we still have a couple of areas that need to be filled. That's commercial. Other than that, all the residential areas have been filled out. This is really good to see. That's commercial here. Um, let's see what we could do with this footpath. Uh, has this completely emptied? No, come on, keep emptying. It won't take long, I think. There we go, 10. Okay, now we can relocate this building. And relocate it here. There we go. Perfect. And now what I want to do is continue this. We're going to relocate the crematorium as well to here, I think. Was the crematorium fine there? No, I want it closer to the... It's closer to the cemetery, I think. Can I shut this across, even like by three units? Yes, I can. Now get the crematorium to come back in between right here, like that. Perfect. Awesome. It's just so much more efficient. I know the uh, the cemeteries are pretty much no use. I mean, once you've got crematoriums up and running, you can pretty much do as you wish. But um, I like the way the cemeteries look. It provides some more extra nice eye candy. Some extra detail into your city, so that's why I'm adding that. Uh, okay, so this area still needs to develop with more commercial. Actually, over here, I'm thinking it would be nice to add one of those parks again so that we can actually interconnect them. So just connect that like that. Perfect. And now, just on the outskirts around over here, we've got all this housing. Uh, over here, yes. What I'm going to do is provide another connection that joins up like that. It's straight, but nice and easy and understandable. Over here now. These come out to here and this come out to there. There we go. And we can also do a bypass around over here. Something like this to there. Now this can come out to there. Perfect. I'll fill this in. With the good old trees. And I'll finish covering all this up off camera with the trees into Lucia and the surrounding neighborhoods. There we go. Because there's still, I think, two or three neighborhoods where we actually haven't done any work really with um, tree coverage. So they still look quite bare-boned, especially around over here near Rochester. Please name me is done. Actually, please name me is uh, still please name me. So let's actually rename please name me. Two, let's see out of this. First I have to tick off Lucia. That's done. So what do we have? Um, let's see. That looks good. Vask. That's very different. Vask with two A's. There we go. So we got Vask. Lucia added this no into this episode. So Vask ticked off. Okay. So slowly but surely we'll start ticking off all of these uh, neighborhoods off. And that is that. We're going to continue to relocate... Um, 
I might do this actually off camera now. So this will be the end of this episode, guys. Um, when we come back for the next episode, I'll have this area relocated. So essentially this whole industrial area, um, we're going to move it away all the way out to here. Since, yeah, we have a bit of space here to keep expanding. And... Um, we can potentially start working on our next neighborhood somewhere around over here. I reckon. Yeah, for sure. That's definitely something that we can start doing. And that way we even get closer to the shoreline around here. And then we're going to have to start considering what we can do on this side. Perhaps also like a little bit of a beach area, area over here. And speaking of beach areas, what could we actually call this? Um, this is going to be... Um, residential area with the beach area. So one side it's going to have residence and on the other side so it's like slightly more. So what could we use? Crystal sands. That sounds good actually. We've got crystal sands. I might add that. So before we leave I might actually do a quick zoning over here. Right here. Like that. So I'm not sure exactly where these avenues are going to come and meet. But we'll figure it out. But yeah, this is going to be called Crystal Sands. There we go. So that's that. That's this episode, guys. Uh, when we come back, this industrial zone will be gone. It will be replaced. Um, it will be relocated somewhere else. And I'm going to try and finish off uh, filling in all these uh, Taranaki, Rochester, and obviously uh, Alusia with some trees and detailing so that it can look pretty like Rafa and Vask and Elwood. And um, I'm not going to touch um, our beach area just over here. I don't know if I mentioned it, but I actually did customize these uh, uh, shorefront walkways further with not only the lights, but also the palm trees. So now the palm trees actually just joins up with the actual coastline a lot nicer. So, yeah, I'm, don't, I'm not touching this area for now because I'm not entirely too happy with this whole office area around over here. Thinking of getting rid of it and perhaps making more lakes and more hotels, actually. Um, yeah, that's, that's my thoughts of making a nice larger lake which kind of overflows from here and then goes out to somewhere around over here and have it surrounding a few nice parks and a few tall skyscraping hotels. So that's the idea, but I'm not going to touch that for now because I'm not 100% what I want to do with that. I'm really happy with the way this bridge has actually turned out. Actually, since last episode, I did do a little bit of a tweak or two here and there on it. So it's a little bit more uh, even. So yeah, and the connection's a little bit smoother. But you actually did see me, or get the, oh, this still needs to be fixed around over here, that little connection here. But you did basically see the way I built this bridge. So if by any chance you're building your city, you'll be able to build it too. So without any too many problems. So yeah, that's it for this episode, guys. Um, please leave a comment about the way you uh, thought I expanded uh, the little Lucia suburb. What do you think about the potential ideas that are floating around uh, in my head for this whole area around St. Kilda over here? And um, I guess that's it. Thanks for watching guys uh, and I will see you very very soon as I'm probably going to start recording this next, next episode uh, right after this. So for now take care guys. Bye bye.